Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute since I posted. I think it's been like a month and a half now, but that's just because I've been kind of waiting on some things for my channel to make it all come together. So the next time you guys see a video, um, everything will look nice. So right now, um, I'm still waiting on um, like one thing left. It's already been a month and a half and I don't want to wait till it gets to two months before I post another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some makeup for you guys today. I'm filming in the bathroom because I don't want to use the backdrop and the lights and all that yet because I want to just wait till I get my desk because right now I don't have anything to set all my stuff on. Um, so I have no idea what I'm going to do for you guys today. I just know that it's been a minute and I want to put on some makeup. It's like 4.30 in the morning right now. Um, my sleep schedule is messed up so that's why I'm filming right now. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be moisturizing my face and I'm going to be using this acne free moisturizer. Um, from Neutrogena just because this I love the way this feels like it feels really slick on my face and it leaves me hydrated So I'm gonna use this now that that is on I'm going to do my no, no Scratch that I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this Morphe setting spray and spray this because I don't have a primer and This is gonna be my best bet next to a primer to make sure that my makeup stays of course, I'm not that worried about it, but I do think I want to take some photos for the thumbnail, of course. Alright, so next I'm going to do my brows. Um, I typically do my brows first just because, I don't know, that's just the order I do. I usually do my brows first. And I'm going to go in with um, this eyebrow gel here. I got this from Morphe and it's in the shade Java. And I'm going to use the Morphe M158 brush to apply this. Also, if anybody wants me to do a brow tutorial, I don't think I would do one until I get like a different brow routine which I don't think I will for a while because when I do my brows I literally use one product one brush um, and that's it uh, sometimes I do other stuff like sometimes I'll put powder on to set my brows especially when I'm using this um, brow gel but typically I just use the brow gel or I'll just use a pencil um, lately I've just been using the brow gel and nothing else and then this brush here I use this end to blend it out and this end to apply it. That's just the easiest way for me to do my brows. So if anybody has trouble with brows, I'd say that's the best way to do it is just use one product, um, make sure that you have a spoolie on one end and an angled brush on the other. Um, this again was from Morphe. Also, the if you buy the this gel from Morphe, it comes with a brush as well along with, I think, a correcting pencil and it comes with a brow pencil if you prefer to use the crayon and it also comes with brow gel if you like to set your brows with gel also i want to apologize for the audio if it sounds kind of echoey um i plan on getting a mic i just haven't done it yet for some reason that's probably gonna be the next thing i get but um, so yeah, the audio is just kind of bad because I'm in the bathroom, of course, and out there it would be super loud, so. Okay, so brows are on and now I'm gonna be going in with the P. Louise base in the shade four, like I always do on my eyes before I start my um, eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I just find that easier. Also, I'm learning that with this um, base, you a little goes a long way. Um, you don't want it to be too much when you're putting it on. So I just take a small amount. Um, and I'm using the Morphe M224 brush to do this. And first I start off by just um, following my brow to clean up and then I'll take it down. This base is something that I'm still learning how to work with because it's the first time I've ever bought this. Um, I've used it a few times now since I've had it, 
but I'm still learning to work with it, so uh, yeah, just give me some time before I master this. Okay, so now that I got that applied, I'm going to be taking a damp beauty sponge um, and I'm just going to kind of blend this out, mostly right here in the front, as you can see, there's like that, hopefully you can tell on camera, but there's like that little separation where you can kind of see the um, base at where it starts. So, and I don't want that showing because I'm not going to really be able to get rid of that once I apply the shadow, so I'm just going to try to blend this out really quickly. Okay, so you can see that that's seamlessly blended now. Hopefully that's how it's showing up on camera, but that's how it looks in real life for me. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm gonna be using this Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I'm gonna put this over that base so that I have a clean start for my eyeshadow. And to put that on, I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush. Okay, so now that that's set, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow. And today I'm gonna to be using the 24A Artist Pass palette that I think it was collaboration with Sweetie and Morphe. And um, actually was going to do a first impressions on this palette, but I didn't get the chance to because my son got into it um, literally the day that I received it and did this. So I didn't get to do a first impression because the palette was just messy. But I think what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go in with this like pink coral shade here, India Woe. And I'm taking the Morphe M441 brush. This is a different one, this is a clean one. And I'm just gonna dip that into India Woe. And I'm just gonna blend this all into my crease. Okay, so now that that is all blended out, I'm gonna go in with the shade Max Volume right here. This pretty hot pink color, hopefully you guys can see that, yep. I'm gonna go in with that shade right there. And I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M506 brush, it looks like this. And I'm gonna be putting this basically all over the lid, except, well not all over the lid, I'm probably gonna do half of my lid. I actually think I want to go in with that India Woe um, just a little bit more to make it a little bit more pigmented. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to take, I'm going to go in with this yellow shade here called Under the Sun. Um, and I'm going to put that in the leftover lid space. I'm going to be using like a packer brush, a small packer brush. This is an M124 brush. And I'm just gonna take that shade and put that on the inner corner. And I'm just going back and forth right now to get it to where I really want it, how I want it to look. If you want, which I think I'm going to do, is I'm going to take that India Woe color, that coral shade. I don't know what this brush is, so it's an e.l.f. Cosmetics brush, actually. But I'm gonna take this brush in here and I'm gonna go in with that India Woe color and I'm gonna put this in between that yellow and that pink just so that it blends a little bit better. I'm liking that now. And the last step for me is to take a packer brush just like I did before. It's gonna be the exact, it's gonna be the same brush as the one that I used to put on the um, yellow, which is the M124 brush by Morphe. This is a different one. Again, this is a clean version of that brush. And I'm going to go in with literally, yeah, literally right here, this um, pretty pink shade. And I am going to put that all where the pink color is.
I'm actually just gonna take this on top of the yellow too. Um, I think it would just look pretty like that, so. This glitter is so pretty because it has like a purpley blue metallic kind of shade in it, um, depending on the angle that you move in. So I really like that. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. But um, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back now that I did my other eye off camera. I would like to let you guys know the yellow that I used from the other palette didn't seem to pop as much um, that I wanted it to, so I went ahead and I used this uh, neon pigment from uh, the Makeup Club that I liked way better. And then I went ahead and applied some more glitter on top of this eye after I went and put that yellow. Also, I applied some lashes. These lashes are the mini lash bar. I can put the link down in the description with my code um, so you can get 30% off. But as you can see, I have some fallout, which is why I never do my um, why I never do my foundation and stuff first because I know I'm probably gonna have some kind of fallout. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some foundation. I'm actually using Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Wear um, and the shade 370. I'm not gonna show it because like the nose is broken off and it just it looks bad. So I'm gonna use that to apply to do my foundation and I'm going to be using a sponge again to apply it. Okay, so now that the foundation is on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer. I'm going to be using this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 16, it's called Buff. And I'm just gonna take this underneath my eyes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my beauty sponge. Um, I, put, I started putting my concealer underneath my eyes like this because I've seen somebody's TikTok. So um, they said it's supposed to help kind of lift the eyes. So that's what I've been doing lately. Okay, so the concealer is on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna be taking my Beauty Bakery powder and setting underneath my eyes before I go ahead and contour. And I'm pushing the powder in. I'm not gonna be wiping this away. Um, I'm pushing this in. I like doing this because it, like, the concealer I use is a little bit too light and I feel like it looks a little bit too cakey. So I use this powder to kind of help darken the, the color a little bit and um, it helps it so that it doesn't look like streaky or anything. That's something I don't like about that concealer. Honestly right now I say I live by this powder. It's like my favorite powder at the moment. Hopefully we're looking cute because the lighting in here isn't great and it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of contour. Um, I'm using this drugstore palette here. I honestly don't know what it's called or where it's from. But uh, but I like to do this because I noticed like when I'm editing photos that the shadows of course are different on your face in different areas. Like my chin is the darkest area, my cheeks are the second, and then my nose is kind of somewhere close to my cheeks but just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to do my chin first. Um, so I usually take these darkest two shades right here because that... Um, is the darkest shadows on my face. And I'm just gonna take this all on my chin. Also, I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. 
Okay, so next for my cheeks, I'm gonna go ahead and take these two shades. If you need to, like I feel like this side is just a little harsh, so just keep blending if that happens. I'm trying to hurry this up because my phone's on like my person. For my nose, I'm going to switch to the Morphe E62 brush, and it's just an angled, it's literally like a smaller version of the last brush I just used. And I'm going to take this shade right here. Okay, we are almost done, so now I'm just gonna go in with some highlights. I'm going in with the more E48 brush, and again, I'm using this same highlighter I always use, and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose, my cheeks, and my cupid's bow. Okay, so next, second to last step, I'm gonna go ahead and take some setting spray. Hopefully this isn't looking a little too wonky. I also wanna let you guys know, I know my foundation shade is not the correct shade. I actually am going to go to the store tomorrow, so I'm gonna go shopping for some uh, new foundation shades, hopefully. Hopefully, I find the right one. It's just hard for me to find my shade, don't know why. So I didn't know what I wanna do for this look, so I'm just gonna play it safe, and I'm gonna use this NYX liquid um, lipstick, and it is in the shade, sand is what I think it is called. It is LSC. L and then the shade seven. Okay, so that is it, you guys. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, sorry for taking so long to post a video, but I promise I'm going to be posting more content um, in the near future, and I'm going to try to make a schedule and be consistent with it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!